Let's end this chapter and have just a little bit of fun, a little creative fun. New rule. Every time we have a chapter that's kind of, not boring, but technical stuff, we should always end it with a lesson on something creative to balance it out. Open up in your exercise files vignette. Now what we're going to do here, let me go ahead first and reset essentials so we can actually see everything. We will be using the layers panel, but it's over there now. We're going to create a vignette around this image in a traditional way. And by traditional, I mean a traditional vignette where you've got an image and it's softly fading out into another color. It's typically an oval. This is actually pretty easy, but we do layer masks. We do all kinds of ways to make vignettes. Let's stick with what we've learned up to this point. Now, number one, we need another layer. So we're going to click the new layer button, which is right down here. And that layer will be above our image, which is what we want. Pick up over here in your selection area. You've got a rectangle tool. Click and hold and go down to the elliptical marquee. Now this is a selection tool. What we're going to do is get right about in the center. I want you to hold the Alt key down, and that will allow us to draw out from center. Now we need room for our vignette to feather, so don't go too close to the edges. Maybe we try something about like that. Now remember, we are in the new layer. What I need to do is fill the outside areas of this selection with a color. So we need to go to the word select on the pull down menu and go down to inverse. Computer, I drew an oval, but actually I kind of want everything else selected. So it will inverse the selection. Let's start traditionally. I do have white as my foreground color. If you don't, you can press the letter D on your keyboard, which will set these back to defaults, and then click this little button right here, or press the letter X and put white right there. The shortcut for filling a selection or layer with the current foreground color is Alt and Backspace. And so we've got that. Again, this is a very simple vignette, but it's very non-destructive. We still have total control. Next, well, vignettes are typically soft. So let's do this. Make sure again you have layer one selected. Go up to the word filter on the pull down menu and go down to blur and select Gaussian blur. Now this is where we do it to taste. In other words, how much of a soft edge do you want to your vignette? Maybe something like that. Let's go ahead and click OK. And there you've got a very soft vignette. Simple, I understand, but a soft vignette. But let's do one more thing here. Sometimes the vignette would be a color represented by the image and not just white. So I want you to come over here and pick up your eyedropper tool right there. And I want you to come over into the image and choose a color. Like say, for example, Something not quite the blue of the sky, a little bit lighter, maybe like the clouds, somewhere in there. Now, when you do that, it changes the color down here. If we press Alt and Backspace, the whole thing's going blue. So remember the little trick. Lock down all transparent areas by clicking this button right there. Now press Alt Backspace and give it a totally different look. You could try different colors, go to the barn, go maybe deeper into the sky, whatever you want, but using a color in the vignette to help match actually the color of the mask of the vignette to the image. I don't know, it's kind of a different way to look at it, I suppose. So there you go. Basic layer panel information. On to the next.